always had a connection. Uh, I've always related to music, uh, to, uh, to to messages delivered through music, and uh, kind of emotional, um, evoking uh, parts of certain songs and, and certain genres in general. But uh, I don't know. I kind of I kind of spent my childhood writing um, therapeutically and and learning how to create uh, kind of a coping mechanism through through writing. Um, and I guess later on I just kind of learned how to apply that to song uh, and deliver stories via, via songs. Um, it's, weird, it's weird to think that I, what I'm doing is a career now. It's, uh, essentially it's, uh, it's just kind of something I've taken my imperfections with and, and written about uh, for, for you know, therapeutic reasons. And, and somewhere along the way I guess I learned that people can connect to those uh, as I did. And, uh, Essentially, what I'm doing is, is has the capacity to to save somebody else. So it's a it's a lot more important than you at that point. It's kind of what you're doing is bigger than you are because it's it's helping and affecting other people. Being on the road is is one of the hardest things I've ever experienced. You deal with a lot of diversity and and people and personalities. Uh, constantly being you're judged, you know, for for 30 to 40 minutes every single night. Um, so it's, it's rough touring full time. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, but it's, uh, there's not a day that goes by that I don't learn something new uh, about myself. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't be who I am without, without touring music and what I'm doing now. Um, I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but uh, I, I've, I had you to learn from them. Um, if I'm going to offer advice or support to somebody else, then need to learn things in life and this is uh, this is probably the most aggressive way I could learn them <laughs> yeah I feel like this this generation um, you know our, our band caters to a to a young detrimental generation and uh, having having you know a singer uh, you know having myself in a band that can relate uh, on a personal level um, you know I'm I've said it before like we're all in this together and everything that we that we go through um, you know, just because we're three feet taller doesn't mean that we're, you know, we don't have the same problems or situations in life. Um, if anything, we, we have a bigger platform to be realistic about them um, and relate, you know, to, to the people that follow our band or support our band or give our band a chance. Um, and it's, you know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an opportunity you have daily. Um, and you have, you know, this well-illuminated, loud, noisy room to do it in. <laughs> um, and then, you know, in our in our case, we go to the merch table every night afterwards, and we hang out and uh, make ourselves connected. And uh, it's all in it's all in you know it's I know it's the cliche thing to say family. You know, we're a family, but essentially, you know, it is. We're all we're all learning and growing from each other, um, and we can all relate and identify with each other. So in our case, we do that through music. I've always been into uh, into a lot of Georgie O'Keeffe stuff um, over the years. There, yeah, I, I don't know how to zero down to one, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Just every day is an influence of some kind. Um, I'll meet somebody that has something to say to me about how maybe I influenced them or our music influenced them or uh, gave them inspiration. But you know, ultimately, the inspiration they gave me probably far outdid theirs, um, and it gives me a kind of a fuel to keep going and working harder. Um, and what I'm doing through the band and through my writing and yeah, it's, uh, there's not a day that goes by. I don't get a letter or see a, you know see somebody with a lyrics tattooed on their skin or you know that's uh, that's my biggest influence is, is my surroundings daily. Um, it's it means everything to me.